friends welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Christine so it's been a few years since I did my last five minute makeup tutorial so I'm gonna do an updated one I have my little makeup bag here with some makeup that I've been loving and using a lot lately and I have to film another video after this I just want to quickly get ready and I thought I would show you my little quick routine so starting off I already did my skin prep skin care is so important I always prioritize doing skincare first makeup second and I have the sunscreen that I've been using and loving a lot lately it's from ourself this is the mineral sunscreen SPF 50 this is a really good one this video is not sponsored by the way and then I use this eye concentrate it's actually a little dropper bottle for an eye cream this is really hydrating and looks really good with or without makeup this is the Niod Niod fractionated eye contour concentrate that's what I use to prep my skin and this routine is meant to be five minutes long because I am talking through it it's gonna take a little bit longer than usual if I was not talking kind of just going through it I could easily do this under five minutes okay first things first I'm gonna prep my lips and this is the skin lip oil so first thing I always do is curl my lashes especially when I am in a rush I only use very few products and I feel like mascara is something that I really do prioritize luckily my brows are nanobladed so I don't have to do that much to them and I do have a full video about my whole nanoblading experience if you guys are interested but it's nice because all I have to do really is mascara, concealer, and then brush a little bit of products through my brows. And then if I have some time, I'll do a little bit of blush as well. Okay, lashes are curled. I'm gonna go in with a little lash recipe. I always have a waterproof mascara and then I have a YSL mascara and this is gonna help kind of like thicken up the lashes. I really like this mascara one because it really helps to separate the lashes which for that first coat of mascara we want something like not too clumpy and thick you know and usually when I'm rushing I'll get a lot of mascara on my eyelids which is fine because we can go in later and clean that up okay then going in with this YSL lash clash mascara this is a really good like thickening mascara that I've been loving Then grabbing a Q-tip and I just put a little bit of water in it. I'm just gonna quickly clean up the lids. And then on days when I'm really rushing, I'm just gonna do no foundation. I'm gonna skip right to concealer. This is the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. This is in the shade 320 and has a really big doe foot applicator. So I'll just put a little bit right here where I have some dark circles and then I have some redness here that I wanna conceal. And then if I have any blemishes, I'll go ahead and kind of just pat some of that on. So quick little concealer concealer hack if you want your concealer to be a little bit more full coverage just let it sit and kind of marinate for a second and the longer you let it sit the more full coverage it gets so I'm going to kind of leave it for a longer amount of time on any of the blemishes I have but I'm going to focus blending it around my eyes for now And then what I'll do is I'll take a brush and kind of buff out any of those areas, especially when I'm not, I don't have like a lot of face makeup on. I want to make sure that I blend all the edges really nicely so the concealer is like really seamless with the rest of my skin. Then I'm quickly going to set my makeup and I'm using this Givenchy Prism powder. I've been really liking this because it blurs out my pores so beautifully and picking up on a baby little sponge. This powder is really brightening as well, which you want to cover those dark circles. Dusting away any excess. Oh, just poke my eye. Especially for those days when we don't have time for blush and bronzer. I'm going to use a bronzer that kind of has like a pinky tone. This is the Bare Minerals Blonzer. So it's kind of a blend between a blush and a bronzer. So it's going to help us achieve that look in one product. And I'm just going to kind of apply that a little bit, kind of like all over the cheeks. And applying a little bit on the bridge of her nose. Okay, then picking up a little bit of the Milk Brow Fiber. This is in the dark color, and I'm just gonna quickly brush this through my brows. If you have naturally beautiful brows, this is a really great product just to help bring a little bit of definition and darken up the brows just a little bit. And if you don't have any brows, I've been loving the ABH Brow Freeze and kind of just laying my brows flat and then filling in any sparse areas. Okay, almost done. This is actually the leftover lip oil on my lips that is giving it a little bit of color. And I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of this e.l.f. Basic Base 
beige and this is kind of like a tinted lip stain. And that is the finished look. Something quick and easy, especially when I'm in a rush and still really want to look put together. This is the finished look. Super pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll go ahead and link all the products down below like I always do. But I'm about to go film an outfit video. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.